Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be surprising my family with a trip to London. So they do already know that we're going to London because I obviously had to tell them where we were going because I don't live with them. They needed to meet me somewhere. So I said, please, can you get the train to London at this time and I will meet you at the station and then we will go from there. I wanted to treat mum and Atticus to go somewhere because obviously it's the summer holidays and Atticus has got six weeks off school. So I was like, okay, where should we go? They've just been on a holiday themselves. They went to Ibiza and I was like, okay, London might be a nice little, kind of like a city break. Atticus loves London. He loves looking at all of the landmarks and everything. So I thought that was like the perfect place to go. I have plan together a nice little three day trip so today is a Sunday morning we're meeting in the afternoon we meet at St Pancras at one o'clock and then we are going to have some lunch we'll check into the hotel I've booked a dinner tonight at a restaurant that Atticus has always wanted to go to so that's going to be really fun and then we'll have a little shop around it is a Sunday so I mean everything's going to shut fairly early anyway and then tomorrow we're going to have a full day exploring London I've got a couple of surprises for the evening and then we've got a surprise for Atticus on the Tuesday as well it's going to be a really fun couple of days I'm actually staying in London after because I've got some really really exciting work things happening next week so I potentially may vlog the rest of the week as well because I'm actually in London I think until Friday so yeah I'm excited I've got all of my cases and stuff packed up there and I just can't wait to see Atticus I can't wait to see my mum even though it hasn't been that long I've really been missing them so I'm excited to have a few days away with them in the city so yes yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that Let's get started. I've just got to London. I have no idea why it is so, so busy today because it's a Sunday. And I thought, oh yeah, the train, like, train station's gonna be really quiet. I've never in my life seen some pancreas this busy. I'm just waiting for my mum. My mum got on a bit of a later train, so she's gonna be here in about five minutes. But like I said, it is really busy. I think it's gonna take us a while to find each other. So I did just go to prayer and I got myself a little sandwich because I am absolutely starving. Before we go to the hotel, we are gonna go to a little cafe. But like I said, it's so busy. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get a seat in here. So just thought I'd get myself a little sandwich to tie me over but yeah just waiting at some pancreas now i'm so excited mum and Atticus are facetiming me the entire train journey and they are buzzing look who i'm with Hello. <laughs> i've met Atticus and mummy mummy has just gone to get I some food he's been trying to guess what hotel we're going to and he thinks it's the ritz or the shard or the gherkin i think it's the ritz there's, i don't even think there's a hotel in the gherkin are you kidding me yes, there is. i don't the know is it yeah oh i didn't know that attraction on the first like few floors but then it's a hotel oh okay well they're his three guesses i can confirm none of them are correct does it actually begin with a d yes park lane that doesn't begin with a d anyway mum has gone to get some food you'll find out within the next How? hour is it a i nice got hotel? of course it is it's lovely i got some more food i got some sushi do you want to try a bit no, i'm not in the mood for fish oh okay <laughs> this is my first ever time trying yo sushi and i must say i am very impressed this is probably the nicest salmon nigiri i've ever had and that's saying something this is really good and Atticus won't try it because like i said he's not in the mood for fish i'll smell it but i ain't trying it that's better than nothing nah not for me all right Why? You said it was um, near Trafalgar Square. I know, I, I lied. <laughs> I know, I lied. Do you know what? I think it's the Ritz. It's not the Ritz. That's near, that's like central. That's near Trafalgar Square. Do you know what? I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'll try <laughs> guessing every Is it guess. The because you gave us all the wrong clues. You said it begins with a D, shard. it doesn't, does it? Shard. No. It does, no, see, it doesn't begin with a D. Is it the Shard? No, it's not the Shard. No, see. You've not actually guessed it right. I will tell you that. You've not guessed it right. I don't know any others from what I've said. Well, you've not guessed it. But it's famous, or is it not? Well, yeah, fairly. It is. Would I have heard of it? I think, yeah. So why haven't I thought of it then? Because I've named all the famous ones. I've named the Ritz. It's not that. The Savoy. Claridge's. I don't know what that is. You never heard of Claridge's? No, I've never heard of that. We'll be there soon anyway. We are crossing the bridge. We're at them apartments. Away! <laughs> you monkey! I've not called through that in years. Mummy knows where we are. <gasps> the hotel you stayed in last time. I've it's had an enough. apartment. I've seen it on YouTube. It looks lovely. You'll love it. Is there a balcony? I've got a balcony. Yeah. I've got a great big balcony. <laughs> yes. Right, first reactions. I know to curse what you're saying. Oh. Because first of all, if you want a desk, there you go. You got a little desk here. I'm gonna do you guys a room tour in a second, but run through here. This is actually bigger than your 
open. Yeah, look at the view, Atticus. Have a look at the view. Put that curtain. Open look the curtains. Look at this. Atticus is obsessed with the Tower of London, by the way, and the Queen's oh, jewels. They last time. They oh, he's gone behind. <laughs> Wait, how's he doing? Atticus, look at the view. He's stuck. I, I can't figure out where he's gone. Oh, so God. Bit, I know. Look at that. Bubs. There's the jewel house. There's the jewel house. Look, you can see it all. And then look. That's where we walked in, Atticus. Look, see the entrance to the Tower of London. Yeah. The bridge and. Let's look at Tower Bridge. Atticus, come over here. Look over here. If we can figure out how to open the curtains. What's that? The River Thames. What's over there? The shard. Over there, darling. The shard. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks dirty. Yeah, it's pretty dirty, Thames, but look. <laughs> look at the view. Look at the view. You could have wished for a better view. This is like the best view I've seen of London, hands down. Whoa. It's my favourite ever place. I love it here. Thank, Thank you, Bubs. You're welcome. Number two. <laughs> Bubs number two. <laughs> Should we do a room tour? Yeah. Oh, look. Dev gave us a little, oh, a little welcome pack. This is nice. Yes. I love staying here. Is there milk in there? Yes. And orange juice. Anna, we didn't get this last time. No, we didn't. By the way, guys, this isn't gifted. I've paid for all of this. So I don't know why they've given us this, actually, because we didn't get this last time. They've given us bread, milk. tea and coffee, milk. There's eggs in the fridge, did I just not see? Yeah. Oh, oh that's so nice. So I'm going to do you guys a little tour of the place. We'll start at the door first. So this is a two-bedroom apartment. So here is the first bedroom. This one is going to be mine because, like I said, I am staying here for the whole week. So I'm fully going to unpack and everything. But how nice is this? There's like a little wardrobe area over here. And then there's a door into the ensuite over here. I'm pretty sure this is the ensuite anyway. Yes, it is. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, nice. Big shower, big bathroom. And then, and then there's a TV on the wall here. Little dressing table area, big bed. And then over here, what's the view from my room? <gasps> oh, this is my my view this is so nice i'm sleeping in here Are you sleeping in here with me and then this is the second bedroom this has got two single beds in and then that is the view the bridge it looks so nice and then you've got more wardrobe space over here and then big tv big dressing area and then a little mirror and then there is another bathroom as well so you've got like a little desk area there airing cupboard and then oh actually i think that could be an airing cupboard with like a washing machine and stuff in and then this is the second bathroom which has got a bath in which is going to be so nice i'm definitely going to have a bath whilst i'm here try to have given us all toiletries and stuff as well which is really nice and then obviously the main area which you guys have just seen this is the living area obviously the view is like the main part of this apartment it is absolutely insane i've stayed here a couple of times before when i surprised my nan my mum and pam a couple of years ago we stayed here and then i've also stayed here another time as well for my birthday and it's just insane so you've got like a dining table and then you've got a shelving you've got a big sofa it's so nice and then over here you've got a big kitchen i wanted to get an apartment so i don't have to go out all the time when i'm staying here on my own I can just cook and then you've got everything in here like oven microwave all the utensils and everything and then two more chairs over here and then just like mum was saying what's in the fridge oh milk cheese eggs oh my god that's so nice oh buzzing with this basically i've booked here until thursday but i actually want to stay until friday so i'm gonna go downstairs in a minute and see if i can book myself an extra night but mum is here with me until tuesday and then i'm just here for work um and to see some friends and stuff but yeah i'm just so so excited i love being here so much it's just so like motivating and this view of london is insane if i was to ever live in london i would absolutely love to live in one of these apartments it's called shovel three keys and i'm actually pretty sure the other side people own these apartments which is mental but yeah i'm buzzing so we're just gonna unpack settle in a bit i'm gonna go on the balcony in a second because i'm boiling why did i wear a hoodie to london still can't get my head around it and then we've got a dinner booking at a restaurant at quarter past six and atticus has always wanted to go there um so we're gonna surprise him and take him out for dinner mum and atticus are just outside on the balcony is it nice look at this weird again. i know it's weird isn't oh, it is it the same room it's the exact same room i've not been here for i don't know how many like three years i think it was like three years since I, when i surprised you nanny and pam with it things have changed a bit since then things have really changed a bit really since then but yeah how unreal is this my favorite of london i have unpacked i did just have my handbag there i didn't really bring that much with me so the wardrobe's not really that full but i've also hung up all of my clothes over here it was so good to actually unpack in a hotel for once i've just topped up my makeup and we are about to go out for dinner i don't know whether just to get to the place and then tell atticus where we're going or i might get him to go on mum's phone and text him where we're going i was gonna do that with tomorrow i don't, just, oh, I don't know what to do maybe i'll just tell him when we get there i'll just say to the man like take us here and then see if atticus can spot where we're going but he's gonna love it i'm actually really excited i've only eaten in there once before we're going to the rainforest cafe um, and Atticus has always wanted to go to the London one. We went to the one in Florida and it was so, so nice in Animal Kingdom. But the one in the UK, he doesn't even know there is one. So yeah, I'm excited. So we've made it to Piccadilly. Do you have any idea where we're going for dinner yet? Oh, I've got a cafe, but that isn't in Piccadilly. Well, it is, but it's not the Hard Rock. 
Another guess? Is it somewhere we went in America or I, I went in Ibiza? Not in Ibiza, but maybe America. Oh, that's a big clue. Keep going around there. Keep going up and right. The Rainforest Cafe? Yeah, that's it. Is it? Yeah. I don't know where it is. I think it's up here. I'm pretty sure yeah, it's up this one, I think. Or the next one, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. We have arrived. Tonight's location for dinner is the Jungle Cave. Atticus is very excited because he's always wanted to come here. They have changed the name though. I thought it was the Rainforest Cafe, but apparently it's now the Jungle Cave. Our food is here. I have gone for a Caesar salad. Atticus has got a classic chicken and chips. Mum has got a spaghetti bolognese with garlic bread. I'm gonna do a little taste test. Ever since going to Greece, I've been obsessed with Caesar salads. As soon as I saw it on the menu, I was it's like, good. yes. Is it good? I haven't tried the chicken yet, but the chips are the same. Are they? Got a bit of a spice to it, that's really good. So everyone, we are back after the Rainforest Cafe. It was so, so good. We just filmed a, another video which will already be up on my channel. I am actually gonna take my makeup off now. I am gonna sort through all of the footage and I'm gonna get into bed. I think mum's gonna edit too. Anna? <laughs> yes? Anna, show the London if it's dark. Oh yeah, I need to show you actually what the view looks like. Because they might have never been when it's dark Yeah, I'll show you the view. The view is unreal. We just filmed in front of the bridge and it's so pretty. And yeah, I'm going to head to bed and then I'll see you guys in the morning because we've got a long, long day tomorrow. So here is the shard, which you can see out of the right. It looks so pretty. And then you've got the river. And then, look. Bridge. Tower Bridge. And then come round here. To see what? Tower of London. Tower of London. There's Tower of London. Oh, and you can see Canary Wharf over there as well, which I never actually realised before. So pretty. I need to get a bottle of wine. I want to sit out here with a glass of wine. He wants to show you the shard outside. No, they're just going up. Oh, the lights. Yeah. Oh my god, wow. I've never seen that before. Mom, come and look. That's so pretty. Oh, love that. People are still getting off boats. I know. It's London, a it's a Sunday night at like 10 o'clock and the city is just streets. like, it really is. It's like New York, isn't it? Even in Manchester, people, it's not as busy as this. No, it's definitely not. London's busier than Manchester. 10 times. Good morning everyone, it is day two of our London trip. I have just finished getting ready and so has Atticus, looking mm. very cute today. Mm. And we are heading into Central today. We're gonna go to, we're gonna do a bit of sightseeing really. We're gonna go to Mayfair, we're gonna go to Park Lane. You wanna go up the, the so, mall? So we're gonna go get a taxi and then hopefully, then we're gonna get breakfast. Oh yeah, we need to get breakfast. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. We're gonna then, go for food out. Then we're gonna walk down to Westminster Abbey. Are we? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. Then we're gonna walk back up, see all my landmarks. So yeah. I wanna stop at Downing Street and Horse Guards Parade. Yeah. Then up, up to got it all planned. Trafalgar Square. Yeah. Then I'll go all the way to the Mall to Buckingham Palace. There's two things I need to stop at. St James's Palace and Clarence House. There you go. And, and be then... warned, Anna, because we're going earlier in the day. There'll be Royal Guards. No, I like the Royal Guards. Be, yeah, I'm just saying, no, there's a chain at Clarence House. You're not allowed to go past. I actually didn't know that, no. No, if you touch it, they'll say, get off the fence. Well, yeah, obviously, you can't touch it. But then we've got to be in Covent Garden for 4 15. Anna, I want to look around some of the sides of the palace because you can look around, I think, one of the sides, the old part. Okay, we're going to go there. Then we're going to be in Covent Garden for 4.15 because we've got dinner and then we've got a surprise tonight, haven't we? So I'm excited about that. But yeah, I'm excited. We're all ready. Do you want to do a little outfit of the day? Yes. We're doing it in the mirror. Yeah. I'll show you our outfits. Oh, OTD. Mine is very like, I've got to dress a bit like a spy you're, today. You're, don't know if it's the hat, but I've just got on these grey trousers. I might actually change them to brown ones. Well, um, and then look, this black high you neck. You a bit like the army with your trousers. Thanks, Atticus. That's really sweet. And then, <laughs> what's your outfit? I've got blue shorts from Zara and a star, white Star Wars t-shirt from Zara and my Converse shoes. All of our food has arrived. Mum got a full English breakfast. Atticus got some scrambled egg on toast and was sharing my chips. And then I got a omelette, which looks so good. And I added onion it's Onion, chicken, cheese and tomato and then salad as well. My chips were there, it didn't come like this. I've just put them there so me and Atticus can share them. Atticus is gonna try a scrambled egg. I've been here before, it's really good. Is it? Oh, it's so good. Is it nice? And the omelette looks good. The omelette's amazing. Wow, yeah, that's so good. I'm so glad I added it. So well. We have come out of breakfast and now we are about to start what we're gonna call Tour de London. And we're starting I'm at Atticus is our tour guide today and we're starting at Big Ben, is it? No. Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey is our first And then we're walking all the way up to Buckingham Palace. Yes, Mum, with the vlog camera. <laughs> Anna, Anna, look, it's finished. Big Ben. Big Ben, I know. Atticus, where are we now? Buckingham Palace. What one do you think is the main gate? The main, in the one in the middle, surely? That one, yeah. 
Look where we are. The last time I was here, oh, I'm getting a bit behind the scene on the vlog. The last time I was here doing this exact clip was when I was, do you remember I was filming that Alone in London video? Yeah. And I FaceTimed mum and I was like, oh, mum and Asuka's look at the cars. Well, now they're here. They're getting to the room in real life. Whereabouts are we now? We're about to go on the underground. We are. Well, hopefully, we're going to see if we can spot my foot asylum ads because they're still on some of the tubes. Oh, there's a pigeon. There's no pigeons. There's a pigeon just flew in over my head. Thank goodness it means. As I was saying, there's still some of my foot asylum ads dotted around London on the tube and I still haven't seen it and I really want to see it. Someone sent me a picture the other day of it at Green Park and we're outside Green Park Station so we're going to have a little wander around see if we can find it because it was like massive on the tube advert so yeah, I really do want to see it. So we're going to do that, then we're going to get a, we're going to get on the tube and go to Comic Garden, have a little shop around, we've got somewhere for food booked in Comic Garden and then I'm going to tell them the surprise for the evening. We are in the Ivy food. I just finished eating. I had the steak and then I had some sourdough bread on the side. It was unreal. Just a little side note. I actually told Mum and Atticus that we were going to see Beauty and the Beast. And I forgot what I told them. When I booked it, I was on FaceTime and I think it must have blurted out because their mum was like, oh yeah, what time are we going to see Beauty and the Beast? And I was like, how do you know that? And she's like, oh, you told me. So surprise, it's actually really surprised because they knew all along that we were going. Don't think Atticus wanted to say anything. I think he felt a bit bad. However, we're going to see Beauty and the Beast. Atticus is really excited, aren't you? Yeah. I don't know what I've done, but anyway, we're going to see Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, because I was speaking about different West End, because I was like, oh, I've seen The Lion King, like, I don't suppose anybody would want to go see that, would they? And everyone was like, well, no, if you've seen it. So then I think I just muttered, oh, Beauty and the Beast, and then apparently they know, but we're going to see that, I'm really excited. I've seen The Lion King at Disneyland Paris before. Oh yeah, we did see that, actually. We saw it in Florida as well. There's Beauty and the Beast posters everywhere around London. I don't know if it's like a new musical, but they've got this thing in Covent Garden, so when we walk past it, it's like a Beauty and the Beast, like, swinging chair. Yeah, but we, it wasn't like a West End musical. We just saw like a little Beauty and the Beast show. But whereas this is obviously like a full like West End production, so to the London Palladium too, which is going to be so much fun because I've been there. No, I've been there once before. What British Got Talent? I think it was or X Factor. But oh, I wonder what that was. Sorry, I thought it was a fly on my shoulder. I thought I didn't do. I think um, I think we'll have to get a taxi because like the tube is a bit too short for that. But walking is a bit too long. We got the tube earlier. Now Asuka doesn't want to get the tube again. He's like, let's get taxi. Everywhere. Well, I think we're gonna get a taxi on the way back to the hotel, definitely, and I think probably on the way to the. But we're gonna walk to the Palladium, potentially, yeah. or, or, or we get a taxi. I don't know yet. But anyway, we're going to I think the tube is like too short for that. It's not too short. We had one stop earlier. By the way, we couldn't find my um, foot asylum ads anywhere, which is really sad. Thank you. Thank you. Dessert. So, Mum wanted to order their profiteroles for dessert, but you can only order them in like a portion of four, and it was like 30 quid. Yeah. For like profiteroles, mum was like, Can I just have a portion for one? Yeah. So he said the only way he can do it is if he puts it through as like a celebration and it will be free. So mum was like, Okay, that's fine. So she gets like one profiterole. And we think, but we think he's gonna come out and start singing happy birthday to mum because <laughs> he said he was like, We need to fake a celebration. Oh, I can't have that now. He bought me one out too. I've got a little, well, a big profiterole actually that says congratulations on it. So I don't know what I've congratulated today. Wow. This looks so good. It's like a nice profiterole I've probably ever had to be honest. Are you excited? Nine. Out of ten? Yeah. We are sat down in at the theatre. The theatre there is was a pro beautiful. There's a programme situation. Basically, Attica saw this one programme that he wanted to get and then we accidentally bought the wrong one so mothers had to go and swap it for the right programme. <laughs> Even though there's actually no difference. No, yeah, there is. Because you, know, you know you want all that eyelash. writing at the back? Yeah. It's meant to have the characters together. But yeah, I'm so excited. Like, I love coming to see West End. Yeah. And the last one I saw was a Disney one, actually. The last one I saw was The Lion King. So, I'm excited. Like, this. Coming. Tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know, actually. I need to message her. I'm going to message her. We have got the correct programme now. You've got right. the old one. I've got the old one. This is so good. Good. I'm so excited. I absolutely, oh my god, look at all the scenes. Okay, yeah, this program is really good. I can see why I wanted this one now with all the pictures in. <gasps> this is gonna be so good. I cannot wait to tell you guys about it. Oh, Gaston Attica. Gaston. Oh, this is so sick. Here we go, here we go, look. Selfie with Gaston. <laughs> no one <laughs> like Gaston, no one. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mum got a picture with Gaston. What are we saying? It's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm sliding. I'm sliding. No, I, I said never slide. I'm like, oh, sliding. Oh, I might slide into Gaston's DM because he is. Oh my god, he's beautiful. The mum just goes, I'm sliding there. So. I never slide. I'm sliding. No, oh, I want it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to London day three. So it is Tuesday today. It is the last day that mum and Atticus are here with me. And we are actually about to go to a really exciting event. Now, this is the actual main reason. Oh, hi, Atticus. This is the main reason that we came to London because Jurassic World are doing this like event at the XL where they're having like all the real life size dinosaurs like the Jurassic World like gates and everything um and I'm taking Atticus aren't I? You're and okay, mummy and mummy but Jurassic World is your favourite film well, so one of my favourite films I have loads of favourite films he does have a lot of favourite films but we're gonna go I'm so I haven't been to the XL since they did VidCon I think it was which was like two years ago what is VidCon? it's like a YouTube event and then before that they used to do Summer in the City there and that was there like every year so I haven't been back there for years it's gonna be weird actually mummy thought it was gonna be the real ones out of the movie. Yeah, mum thought that it was going to be, basically, I was showing mum the behind the scenes of Jurassic World last night, and when they were filming the film, they just used the dinosaur heads, like they didn't use like the full dinosaur bodies. So mum thought that like it was going to be the actual dinosaurs in the film. They might have the real heads there, I don't know, but in the film, it was obviously all like animated, but mum thought that they were like real dinosaurs they that they like drawing. moved around. But I was like, no mum, they're drawings, the heads were the only real thing. But yeah, I'm really excited. I don't really know what to expect, to be honest. I don't really know much about it, but I'm excited. Last night, Beauty and the Beast was was insane. I've seen a few musicals and I think that was probably my favourite one that I've seen. The Gaston scene and the BR guest scene was unbelievable. Like they were so long and the stamina that those actors and actresses have like are insane. And then after we waited by the stage door like I was showing you guys last night and we said hello to them as they were coming out and oh my god Gaston absolutely beautiful but yeah i'm excited for today so i will see you guys when we are at the xl we have just arrived and atticus is wearing show the back <laughs> show the back turn around jurassic park Scotland. yeah that's well cool <laughs> Please direct your attention to the front of the boat for an important informational video. The ancient era, when dinosaurs ruled the world. Many have dreamed of visiting that world, witnessing the magic. We've made it to the end and I am getting myself a cuddly blue. I honestly have the worst habit of buying cuddly toys everywhere I go. And then I just stash them all underneath my bed. But I feel like I need this because it's so cute. And then Asuka, show the two that you're getting. Oh, oh get three. You're getting all three of them? Do you want to save some money for St Pancras or not? So going into the little hat? No? Okay, that's fine. No, actually no. When it's gone, it's gone. No, I don't want to lose bad back, I don't want the I'll show you what you get when we get back. How did you find it? It was insane. It was so good, wasn't it? Who was your favourite dinosaur? The T-Rex. The T-Rex. The T-Rex at the end was insane. Like, it looked so real. But overall, what did you give it out of 10? Nine. Nine. So, my mum and Atticus have now left, and i just done a little food shop. The Jurassic World thing was so amazing. Thank you so much to Universal for inviting us. It was so 
so good. It's on at the XL. I don't know how long it's on for. Atticus loved it. My mum loved it. The T-Rex at the end was massive and it was so like real. It was weird. So make sure you guys definitely head down there and check it out. Like I said, it's at the XL. But mum and Atticus have gone, like I said, and I'm actually in London now until Friday and it's Tuesday. So I've got three more nights here. I'm so excited. I love staying here so much. It's like my favourite place to stay in London ever. But I'm actually not really in the apartment that much. Like I've got a day full of meetings all day tomorrow. I'm out on Thursday evening. I've got Thursday day free and then obviously Friday going back to Manchester. So yeah, not actually in the apartment as much as I would like to be. Gonna enjoy tonight. I'm gonna cook us a spag bowl and I actually got us a bottle of wine to have, which I'm excited. So yeah, I'm gonna cook us dinner. We're gonna have some wine. And then I also got, well, this is my little food haul. Okay, what I got, I got some hot noodles just in case I'm hungry later. I've got, I wanna have some like a chicken Caesar salad potentially or like bread and like balsamic vinegar and stuff. So I got some balsamic vinegar, I got some Caesar. I got some cans of Coke, obviously essentials. And then I got some raspberries to have with the wine. And then I got salad stuff. I got my favorite crisps ever. These are the black truffle crisps, they're so good. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait for a bit and then I'm gonna start cooking. And then yeah, to be honest, we're probably just gonna sit on the balcony tonight and talk and have wine and get a little bit drunk. So that is basically how I'm gonna end this video. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see me vlogging. Cause obviously I haven't vlogged for a while. This is the first vlog that I've kind of done really. I've been doing a lot of challenge videos. So yeah, let me know if you do want me to carry on vlogging or what type of content you wanna see. Cause I'm always reading the comments and seeing what you guys are saying. So yeah, I love you all so much. And I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye.